Hello YouTube, this is 070696 here. Guess what happened today? And guess what I missed again? Ah, I missed the King K Direct. I missed this one. So yeah, I have it fast forwarded just to where it started. And I saw in the little preview something I really wanted is announced. I hope, I really hope. Ah, we'll see. We will see because I have not watched this. What is going on cursor? Hello. Oh, I think I need to reload the page. Because uh, I think... Oh, no, it didn't bug. Oh, crap. What the... Okay. It's right at, like, the 30-minute mark. Oh, there it is. Yep. Uh, frick. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Um, watch this. I'm going to eat part of my dinner because my mom made some dinner. She made salmon and rice, and the salmon is... Well, it's leftovers. She made some rice... Salmon wasn't very good. Ooh, sorry, Ma. But, yeah, I'm going to eat the rice while watching. I'm going to make some chicken nuggets later, though. Because <laughs> I'm 12. All right. I'm going to go ahead and watch this for now, though. And uh, we're going to have to wait a sec. Okay, here we go. All right. Yep, yep, I thought so. I thought so. Thank God. We got Mario Maker. We got Mario Maker Switch. What? What? Slopes! Slopes! We got him, baby! Yes! 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 What else is in? What else is in? What else is in? What else is in? They know we wanted Slopes. Whoa. But yes! Mario Maker 2! Whoa, what? What? The Angry Sun? Yo! 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 Ant Trooper? Whoa. <gasps> the Cat Bell? What? Oh! How to improve a perfect game right here. Holy shit. Yes, I'm sold. Yo! Luigi! June. Oh! I'd buy that right now. Hi, everyone. Hello! I'm Yoshiaki Soizumi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Race. You just got your first look at the brand new sequel to Super Mario Maker, which we're just, of course calling Super Mario Maker. It just two. invalidated like every Kaiser, like all the ROM hacks Carl Sagan's been doing. It just there will be brand new features, of course, and many new elements are in development as we speak. Nice. So please stay tuned. All right. Next, let's cover today's Nintendo Switch headlines. For the first time in 10 years, the Marvel Ultimate Alliance series mm. returns with a new four-player action RPG and an all-new original story. Assemble your ultimate dream team from a huge cast of Marvel superheroes, from the Guardians of the Galaxy to the Avengers, Defenders, X-Men, and more, to stop Thanos nice. and the Black Order from unleashing cosmic chaos. You can play together in TV mode, locally on up to four systems or online hmm. and get closer to the action with a dynamic zoomed in heroic camera this looks kind of cool heroic it's time to go higher further faster with marvel's ultimate cosmic protector captain marvel wield her power against those that would do harm to the universe as characters level up they'll learn skills you can use on the fly in carol danvers case literally in addition to basic attacks and skills, each hero has an Alliance Extreme Attack, their most powerful move. When you join forces with friends locally or online, take teamwork to unprecedented levels as you creatively combine hero skills into synergy attacks. Your most powerful attacks can even be combined into an Ultimate Alliance Extreme Attack. The team of possibilities will be off the charts in Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, the Black I'll Order. I'll look into this. This looks kind of cool. Switch this summer. This looks cool. 
Welcome back, Box, box boy. boy. I forget what this is, but I feel like I know it. Get ready to unload some boxes and oh, have fun doing it. Oh, I do remember it. this. The critically acclaimed puzzle series Box Boy is coming to Nintendo Switch for huh. the first time. Nice. This brand new game is tightly packed with tons of content, including brand new puzzles and new features. We fit something else in too. This huh. time, two players can box it oh, up together. Oh, two player. To restore peace on the box planet, you must work as a team, solve puzzles, and beat those stages. Huh. After this looks cool. the story, you can access a whole separate adventure starring Cutie, the tall one. Cutie, the tall one. In all, there are 270 stages to beat. Oh. That's the highest in the series to date. Use your brain boxes to think outside brain the box boxes. and lead our heroes to the goal. I'll have to give this a shot. Box girl this looks kind of cool. Nintendo I love Switch puzzle April games. 26. It's why, as my channel shows with all the Tetris, even though I suck. The ultimate spring update. <gasps> Here we are. We in, boys. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate is about to spring forward with yep. the version 3.0 update this spring. <laughs> what are we adding, you ask? You'll just have to wait to wait, find out. Wait, 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 hold up, 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 hold up. This seems like a Mario Maker SQI. Stage builder? What are we adding, you ask? You'll just have to wait to find out. This one, I have no clue what this could be, though. They're adding game modes, though. Yes. Thank you. Break the targets. Melee ask kind of thing. You know, home run contest, please. Remember, Joker is a part of Challenger Pack One. Yo, that's the first look we've seen. Preparing for battle, and his moment will finally come mm. before the end of April. Before the end of In April. In other words, this year, springtime is the time to smash. And don't forget, new Super oh, Smash Brothers series nice. and new figures are on the way too. Nice. Those look awesome. That was There's all the Smash even more to explore in Captain <laughs> Toad Treasure Tracker. It's never too late for a journey through the maze-like miniature worlds of the Captain Toad Treasure Tracker game. I've always fact, considered getting this game, but... We have two but... new announcements for the Ooh. Nintendo Switch version. After a new update, all courses will support two-player co-op. Nice! Maybe Captain Toad won't be so nervous with someone at his side. Two heads are better than one, and an extra set of hands goes a long way. This free update will be available later oh, today. nice. And some paid downloadable content DLC. is coming. DLC. Let's see what this We're is. We're adding in 18 Ooh. new challenges that'll see you traveling to five new courses. From sunken ships to a kingdom of sweets. Ooh. And achieving new objectives in existing courses. I saw a crown. Uh-oh. Captain Toad and Toadette must obtain the shiny crown in each course, all of which can be played alone the crown. Or with the second player. Toadette and another Captain crown, Toad are you Tracker's kidding me? special episode will be available for purchase as soon as, well, later today, giving you early access to one of the courses. The rest of the content will launch on March 14th. That's not too far. If nice. If you don't have the game yet, look out for a digital bundle, a bundle. available on Nintendo eShop nice, later today. Nice. I've always considered this game, game, but I've never got it. It gives you access to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker's special episode once it's available. Steal yourself for old school action in an all new gothic castle. The side scrolling action of Ooh. yore shall rise once more in Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. And this so, looks nice. the young lady Miriam, host of the Alchemist's Curse, must use her unwanted gifts to slay the demons wrought by the curse's original host, Jeeble. Hmm. With these powers, she can steal the abilities of enemies. Bend gravity this looks like a. Will, uh, I haven't played Castlevania, but this looks Castlevania esque. Lightning speed. Whoa. Here, the laws of reality and 2D side scrollers don't apply. Throughout the castle, a treasure trove of side quests, deadly tasks, I and need small to touches into flesh this. out the campaign. Your body is covered with weird decorations. Beyond the main story, you can dig deep into character customization, mm, subquests, and more. I don't really care for that. More. Stop the fall of man at the hands of demons. Don't be afraid to show them your dark side. I might have to try that. This Blood looks cool. Thing, Ritual of the Night emerges from, it's from the 505. shadows this summer. 
I'm like looking around my mic because it's right here. The time has come to build a new world and take on the children of Hargon. Okay, because there's like nothing after that. On an empty island, you'll ally yourself with yep. the mysterious oh, builders too. and defend your world from monstrous forces. I gotta make sure OBS is selected to help because you build and fight alongside you in the this story. Cool. Or unite with three other builders to create your own island in local co-op or online. You'll gather materials, craft objects and tools, and reach new heights by building any structure you can imagine. Hmm. Okay. Now you can dash, fly, play in first person, explore underwater, okay. and warp all over the new retro-inspired oh, map. I like this map a lot. Oh, that if looks you own cool. the previous game on the Nintendo Switch system, you can craft the legendary builder's outfit and the Dragon Lord's throne. July 12th. Dragon Builders 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 12th. There are more Nintendo Switch headlines to come, but first, a word from Mr. Koizumi. <laughs> well, how's it looking? Next. We have a new announcement for that classic RPG series. Please Wait, what is a look? Oh, what is that? I know that sound. What is it? There are RPGs, and then there's Dragon Quest, uh, the series that defined the genre. And the latest entry is charging onto Nintendo Switch in full force. Nice. Pairing the series' beloved style and perfectly balanced battles with the most impressive scope and elaborate story in series history. Where there is light, darkness follows. For no one does this ring truer than the Luminary. The boy that prophecy says will succeed the last hero and protect the world from a terrible end. In an odd twist of fate, the boy's royal birthright is snatched from him. On the day he becomes an adult, he finally discovers his true heritage and the powers that make him the luminary. When he goes to the king of the largest kingdom for guidance, he is dubbed Darkspawn. So begins the perilous journey of a hunted hero and the ragtag band of adventurers who will join him on his quest to set things right. I'm gonna Together, have to try this. Never played a Dragon Quest game. Terrain of the sprawling, detailed land, Erdrea. Monsters roam free of random encounters. When you engage them, choose your strategy wisely in turn-based battles. You must know when to attack, when to heal, when to use magic, and when to switch your party members' orders. As you do, you'll earn skill points which can be used to teach party members attacks, spells, and improve their abilities. You can also collect materials so you can forge weapons, armor, and accessories. Looking for an item? Then help people out in cycling. This looks like it. Like, or try I need to try this, like, seriously. Or horse races. Erdrea is full of surprises like these. This looks this very time, nice. The player I like has the, the power to choose on the fly between the land's gorgeous HD vistas <gasps> and the 2D 16 bit glory of old. Yo, that's cool. This is also the first version of that's, the game with that's a nice orchestrated touch. field and battle tunes. If you want, you can change between the original sound and the new one whenever you want. Nice. And you can also experience the journey with English or Japanese audio. Nice. It's nice. I mean, I'm not a big fan of that in a lot of in all games, but I mean, it's nice that they include that with people who are. Yeah, I've been meaning to try a Dragon Quest game, but here, there's my opportunity, you know. This does look pretty cool. First-time players and veterans should also look forward to new stories. Each sees one of the main cast members stepping into the spotlight, shedding new light on hidden truths. This hero's adventure has truly leveled up. Hmm. Dragon Quest XI-S, Echoes of an Elusive Age, Definitive Edition. I'll need to give this a shot. exclusively on Nintendo Switch this Exclusive. Fall. Mm -hmm. No, I'm kidding. I hate exclusives. But, eh, well, we just shot. announced the addition of these new stories. There will be more. Uh, I will be right back. I gotta do something really fast. Sorry, I'm back. New information to do share in the future. Please look forward to learning more. For now, let's continue with more Nintendo Switch headlines. 
A Disney Tsum Tsum game like you've never seen before. What? These stuffed Disney toys took the world by storm, and now they're ready for an after hours party at the toy store in Disney Tsum Tsum Festival. I've never heard of these. What? Play with your friends and family in a wide variety of competitive and cooperative games. That I've support never up to heard of players. these things. I work in retail and I've you never heard or well seen of these from things. Around the world. What? And you can't mention Disney Tsum Tsum without talking puzzles. Oh, whatever. It's Connect matches Tsum Tsum to clear them and set a high score. The game also features a two-player mode for local and online competitive matches. Mm. Disney Tsum Tsum Festival will steal our hearts in 2019. We're picking up a distress call there in the Atlas Star System. But Starling. this time, it's far from friendly. In fact, it's none other than Star Wolf's infamous lieutenants, Andrew Oikini, Pigma Dengar, and the Great Leon. Now Peppy, Falco, and Sloopy have no choice but to hunt them down, like the animals they are, in a challenging new series of missions you can only find in the spring update of Starlink Battle for Atlas. Every member of the Star Fox team has their own special pilot ability and skill tree. Plus, each pilot can take on any of the new missions and also Fox missions that this from the base game. Has, it's you know, time for a game of Seek made the way destroy. it is, though, because it looks really cool. I would fair. play it. If all the content was the in the game, content, you know, in the game when you bought it, and not. And I don't know if it's split up so in physical things, but just team it's tedious to carry around. Atlas that's what the Switch is about, disabled. mobile. But eh, I kind of lost interest for that game. A heartfelt fantasy adventure crops up uh -oh. once again. Another season, another reason to wield weapons and spells against monsters. Good morning. It is about to be fall. Interact with townsfolk daily. Grow vegetables and fruits at the farm. <laughs> Those Cook are some, some big fish. food. Cook up a storm. Or even raise monsters. This fantastical circle of life will keep you coming back for more in Rune Factory 4 Special. Fully remastered oh, Rune Nintendo Factory. Switch. Okay. I've heard of the Rune Factory series, Battle but I never knew what it had long, in it. So. You may become more than just friends. Oh, God. See what the heart-pounding newlywed life has in store for you, exclusively in this new version of the game. I'm guessing the chat was just filled with like anime emotes, like, <laughs> will be right and Ohio. Later this I don't year. have the chat up because I know some jerk is going to go back through the VOD and post spoilers. And... Oh, fine. Simon confirmed that Rune Factory 5 is in development. Look forward to more info in the future. Soon, a time will come to slay monsters and rescue lost souls. More monsters. Before those souls become monsters. They were spirits. In action RPG from the developers you, of Ayn Satsuna <laughs> and Lost Sphere. I had to. Step into a realm built upon the tenets of reincarnation. Its people lead repressed lives, forbidden to mourn the loss of loved ones. To uphold these tenets, Kagachi this must travel cool. between the living world Whoa. and the beyond to rescue lost souls from a terrible fate, becoming monsters. When battling these creatures, the lost souls you've rescued can manifest within you, granting you new powers. Each soul's powers are different. This so looks you cool. You the right soul for the situation at hand. In this deep single player campaign, there will be many battles. You will fight and you will become stronger. Those who fall to grief are lost and the lost don't reincarnate. The very foundations of reincarnation will begin to crumble when Oninaki launches in summer 2019. Oni Wait, isn't that made by... That kind of gives me an Okami vibe on the, on the logo. Yoshi oh, yep, crafted red. You know what that means? We knew we needed it. Yoshi's crafted world, world is almost here. Yep. This time, we'd like to put the many facets of these crafty courses on display. As Yoshi, you'll go rafting. I love Ray these Solar new Hunt. Yoshi games though, like Woolly World and Crafted World. They're just so I love them. I love them. They're not they're so nice looking. Hey, that robot's pretty huge for a miniature. <laughs> Even at this scale, you'll have some challenging bosses to wrangle. Using in-game coins you've racked up, you can collect crafted costumes. 
juice box. If you wear one, what? It'll offer a bit of protection from enemies. Okay, that kind of looks that looks cool. There are more than 180 of these costumes. Oh, and some these are adorable. Tricky to get your hands on. Uh oh. Later today, we'll release a demo, which lets you play through the first course. I might need to get that. I haven't beaten Woolly World yet, but um, I'm gonna grab this. Finally hatch on March 29th. Oh, that's not far. We have more that's Nintendo Switch headlines coming up, but first, another update from Mr. Koizumi. How's it going so far? Next, we have a follow-up on the latest installment in one of our long-running series, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Please have a look. They said three. You know what I was thinking. I was thinking of um. You know, a certain Bound to Earth series. Waiting on that third game. Oh my. What could have brought you here? I don't know. I don't know anything about this, actually. Wait, what is Three Houses? I thought there was like, they were talking about fates for the a second. The continent and like, of Wait a Foglin, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000 year old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Vargas, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. But In the Fire Emblem Three Houses game, you are the hero the world needs. You start out as a mercenary traveling with a group led by your father, Geralt. Oh, this After style. an unexpected incident reveals an unknown power hidden within, You'll travel to Garrick Mock Monster, turn into a dragon. where you'll receive an offer to teach at the Officer's Academy. Around that same time, you alone begin to see a mysterious girl named Sothis, who appears within your mind. Garrick Mock Monastery lies at the center of three large territories. It is the home base of the Church of Saros, the main religion of Fodlan as well as the Knights of Saros. Not only does the church serve to maintain order in Fodlan, its monastery also houses the Officers' Academy. Those who train there will go on to shoulder the future of Fodlan. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses. The Black Eagles is for students from the Adrestian Empire, including the house leader and future emperor, Edelgard. Sorry, I had to. The Blue Lions boasts Prince Dimitri of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus as its house leader. This house is for students from his kingdom. The Golden Deer is for students from the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, who is the heir of the noble family that leads the Alliance. As a professor, you will lead the students of one of these houses and instruct them. In addition to the house leaders, there are many other students to meet, each with their own unique personalities and skills. Which house will you choose? Hmm. Unfortunately, um, my I got plenty of turn-based games. Students I just got Civ 6 for my Switch, and I have Wargroove on my PC, so yeah. Saros I'm an Advanced Wars nut. And gain like, real battle experience, I still need to get physical copies of AW1 and 2. I have Dual Strike and Days of Ruin. These may be class assignments, but the stakes in each battle are very real. Whether your students live or die will depend on your leadership. Strategize as the battle progresses to Trip. claim victory. At the Officers' Academy, your students will work diligently each day so that they may wield a variety of weapons. Master the study of magic, and acquire special skills such as horsemanship. You have been entrusted with their future, and it's up to you to guide each of them and help them hone their abilities. Through combat experience and study, you can help your students reach their full potential. 
Hmm. This seems interesting, though. But I unfortunately already have enough uh, turn-based games. Other at the academy. And by doing so, their bonds will strengthen, and they'll be able to better support each other on the battlefield. Zawada! Hey, over here! And you're coming into Smash, aren't you? Another Fire Emblem character. Aren't we're getting one, aren't we? Forward, now. Three territories. Three houses. Your very own journey. <sighs> we're gonna get another Fire Emblem character. Fire Emblem Three Houses will release on July 26th. Hmm. This is the first I've heard of it, so... And, oh, art book sound selection. Oh, so, cool. How does that seems cool. That seems nice. Originally, we announced that Fire Emblem Three Houses would release this spring. But more when? development time will be necessary. When? I don't remember that. And so the new release date is July 26th. Well, hey, like Miyamoto said, that means we'll have to ask you a rush game is forever bad. So we hope you'll look forward to the next generation of Fire Emblem all the same. Time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. And we have war in this but next entry of this iconic series. The last <gasps> player Tetris? standing wins. 99 players. Wait. But only one reigns supreme. This is Tetris 99. Tetris 99? Yo. The iconic puzzle game arrives with an online experience like no other. Yo. Nintendo Switch online members can battle yes. for dominance in this free Yes, I've been game. playing the hell out of Puyo Tetris recently. If you're attacked with garbage, attack back to defeat the other 98 players and become the Tetris Battle Royale. They did it, and you know what? I'm perfectly okay Nintendo with Switch it. Online yes. Be ready to join when? The fight. When? Tetris 99 will be available <gasps> for download later today. Buying it right now. To Holy shit. Out in upcoming online events. I am actually, like, buying that right now. There's Dead by Daylight. Oh, Alex is gonna love that. Imagine this. You're alone. Struck by fear. Yo! I'm checking that. How much is this? How much is Tetris 99? I already have Dead by Daylight on PC, and I'm... Oh, God! It looks so bad! What? That looks awful! Oh, God! Oh, God! Take on the role of the killer to make Wait, so Tetris 99 is free! Your next victim. What? Terrifying? Yo! Satisfying. Okay. Just you wait. With loads of maps. Got it. It's free. Yeet. And that is okay. You'll experience oh, a deep boy. progression system. And there goes, while you're on the hunt, there goes my free time hunted. forever. Holy Discover shit. The true yes. meaning of horror. When it sucks because Wombo just on got back on Switch, Switch for Puyo Tetris. <gasps> I can use this as a time to rank up. Hey, wait, 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 Delta Rune on Switch? Delta Rune on Switch. Nice. It's only a matter of time. Is it also free? Censored spoiler free. <laughs> oh, Toby, you know how to make a trailer. There aren't actually that many dogs. Aw. For free. Nice. It was free on PC as well. More chapters. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. More chapters in development? Last I heard, Toby said Chapter 2 is... He wants a team to work on Chapter 2. Because he said, you know, it's going to take way more work than Chapter 1 did to make any more of the game. But Chapter 2 and... More chapters in development? Oh my god! Toby, you fucking madman. 
I love you so much. Now for a message from the producer of the futuristic mech action game, Damon X. I remember this from the from E3, the Hello announcement. Everyone. Hello everyone. I'm Kinichiro Tsukura, producer of Damon X Mech. Yeah, I wanted and to. I, have I forgot to look into this after E3. Later today, the Smash Bros. A demo called Damon X Mech Prototype Mission. Okay. Then. E for a limited time. The game is still in development. But in the demo, you can battle through four different missions while exploring the basic controls and customizations of your personal mech known as an arsenal. You can also experience a boss battle on the final mission, so please try it out. After playing the demo, we'd like to hear your feedback. We'll be conducting I'm totally going to play some Tetris 99 though, like holy like shit, I'm, I'm going to do that right after this direct. If you want Holy to shit! Survey, I'm, I'm still excited over Tetris 99. <laughs> we appreciate and and Delta Room, of course. Like, the best it can be. I'm I'm gonna snag Delta Room. We have I have it on my PC. Didn't get far so in it though because you know Nintendo I'm tethered to my computer. So Whereas Delta Room on Switch, it's why I got Civ 6 on Switch and why I'm I'm in turn Demon 200 now. Should be launching this at, like three days after getting the game. Help. With that in mind. Meanwhile, Civ 5 I barely played on here. So please stay tuned. Seriously, the Switch makes games that take so much time much more accessible. Realistic Racing is headed for Nintendo Switch. A racing game for Switch? Grid Autosport comes fully loaded Grid with a mix of high-speed thrills. I've not heard of this, but I'm going to have to tell uh, Xander about this. I think he'd like that. You'll feel like a pro racer as you master the world's fastest cars to win motorsports' most exhilarating races. Besides, From I mean, he likes Forza, so, I mean, him getting a racing game on Switch would be good, I think. All DLC is included with nice. 100 cars, 100 circuits, and some welcome additions like motion controls and custom controls. Oh, no. Okay, customs. Players can race online or locally, and two players can race split-screen oh, on nice. a single system. From street racing to demolition derby. Oh, that lag. Oh, that lag is bad. 2019. Enter the Viking Age to experience Senua's Hellblade. journey again, or for the very first time. Created in collaboration with neuroscientists and people who experience psychosis, Hellblade pulls players deep into the mind of Senua. This broken Celtic warrior will embark on a haunting vision quest through Viking Hell to fight for the soul of her dead lover. Hellblade has won multiple awards, including BAFTAs for performance, audio and artistic achievement, British Game and Game Beyond Entertainment. Find out why when Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice releases on Nintendo Switch this spring. The Nintendo Switch lineup just keeps getting stronger. Oh yeah, the Switch now has a godlike Mortal lineup. Kombat 11. Mortal Kombat 11? 25 years in the telling is far from over. With all new custom character variations, Mortal Kombat 11 on Switch. Veterans taking okay the then. In a fresh new adventure, Unravel 2 <gasps> Unraveled. take control of two adorable Yarnies. Control oh, both Yarnies I never got to try the first one. Single player, or play with a friend in local co-op for some puzzling platforming fun when Unravel 2 Problem comes is to EA. Nintendo Switch March 22nd. For the first time on Nintendo Assassin's Switch, Creed Assassin's Creed on Switch? With revamped gameplay and features that lag, though, is system like motion aiming and touch input. But... Set Assassin's in the American Creed Revolution, Creed explore one of the most iconic Switch. eras in history as you fight for freedom and independence. The Switch has the rise a god-tier lineup of All games right now. Holy plus shit! The entire standalone game, Assassin's Creed Liberation Remastered, will be included when they launch together on May 21st. Final Fantasy fans, <gasps> better open your calendars. We're excited to announce that Final Fantasy VII will find its new home on Nintendo Switch March 26. I've never played Final you Fantasy VII. This is dungeon, my time to play. Everybody will release on March 20. A mystery dungeon game. I might have to get this because I love PMD. Final Fantasy IX will journey onto Nintendo Final Switch Fantasy later nine. today. Once a classic, always a classic. That's all for today's Nintendo Switch headlines. That is a lot. Wow. How's everything looking? Wait, wait, that's... Well, we have a bit more to share. There's seven minutes. Please stay with us until There's the end. There's seven minutes. Let's take a look, shall we? Let's see. What have you got? One of these days are going to snap and sink. Whoa, what is this? What is this? Oh, I think I know it, actually. Wait, no, I don't. What is this? 
Advent Protocol? What? What is this? Oh, I, I feel like I know this. Oh, I can't remember the name. Unless this is a new thing. Oh, it looks pretty, though. This aesthetic is nice. This looks cool. I might grab this. Section. My heart goes out to you too. All because of how you were born. Doomed to be used by those idiots until you die. Chained to your fate. Powerless. Today has been most revelatory. Finally. Is that how the mafia works? For the final <laughs> stage. What the hell are, are they? they? Why, Why did you make them? them? You two wouldn't get caught up in all this. These are some big names. Astral Chain. This is new, a new series. I'm gonna need to remember that. That looks really cool. What you just witnessed is Astral Chain, a brand new action game in development at Platinum Games. Platinum? It looked like two characters were fighting together during battle, didn't Who's Platinum? Uh, who's Platinum again? I hope you're excited to learn more about how combat will play out is, in this game. I feel like I should know them. Please, stay tuned. And speaking of Platinum games, I'm sure you're very curious about Bayonetta 3. Ah, that's where... Rest assured, the developers of Bayonetta 3 are hard at work, and I hope you're looking wait, forward to learning more. Wait, wait, wait. Our next title will be the last announcement of the day. Please, check it out. I'm gonna regret cleaning my glasses right now. You two? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Wait. What is this? Oh, what is this? I should know. Another wait. Oh. That that looks like CDI link. Wait, what is this? A new Zelda? Link's <gasps> Link's Awakening. Oh, it looks so cute. Oh. Sword style is amazing! Yo! Oh, this is adorable! Oh! Oh my god, it's so adorable! There's Goombas. Oh, this looks awesome. This year? That looks awesome, though. I like it. So, what did you think? At long last, 1993's Game Boy classic, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, will find new life on Nintendo Switch. It's, I heard it was a good game. I never After played it, 26 though. years, it has been reborn as a new experience, and we'll have more to say in the future. Please look forward to its release. I am. That's all that looks for today's nice. Nintendo Direct. Thank you so much for watching. Any one mores? Any one mores? No? Wait a minute. Oh, no more. Yep, that's that's it. No character no characters. But you know what? I am very much pleased with that. That is a that was a good that was a good direct. A lot of nice things were announced. Mario Maker 2. Um, we didn't get any news for Animal Crossing, unfortunately. 
But Mario Maker 2, I'm really excited for that. Um, Tetris 99, which I'm gonna go give, I'm gonna go play that right now. Uh, what else was there? Uh, Star Chain? I already forgot the name. That, like, second to last game. Link's Awakening looks awesome. Um, what else was there? I'm an idiot for forgetting. Um, I, eh, I could, mm, about Fire Emblem because I have Civ 6 and, um, Wargroove now, so, but, eh, pretty solid direct. And also, uh, three, we got confirmation that there is a spring update with, and, and Joker's coming soon. We still don't know how Joker will play, though. I'm really, really curious of, like, we still don't know the other four DLC characters. Or three, I forget. Is it the, the fighter pack is four, right? I forget. But th we're... When are they going to announce them? Like, this would have been prime time to announce a second DLC fighter. Because we have Piranha Plant, and it's not in the pack. Um, Joker is the first one in the pack. We still got three or four more. Who is it? I didn't touch the mouse there. It just did that. Hmm. Well then. Thank you all for watching, I guess. I'll see you all later. Bye.